Too many guys are going to Ukraine chasing Fantasy Island. Too many guys are going to Ukraine with an I dream of genie fantasy, and there's absolutely no reason for it because the women that are closer to your age, women in their 30s, women in their 40s, are stunning and beautiful. I'm about to drive that point home. Women in Ukraine will tell you, we don't mind meeting a gentleman who's older as long as he's not older than my father. If he's older than my dad, it's weird. We're not going to be compatible. I'm not going to be attracted to him. I may like him as a person. I may admire him as a man, but that, you know, we're just not going to be compatible five, six, seven, ten years down the road. And then, you know, the worst is going to happen. And I don't want to do that to somebody. And, and I'm sure they don't want to do it to me. So we got to be from the same generation. That is what women will tell me. I find that women that are closer to 40, 45, in Ukraine will stretch that. Some will, some won't. But women in their 20s, guys, if you're over the age of 40, very, very risky. Very, very risky. And there are some fine women in their 20s. And sometimes, it's very gray, guys. Sometimes, you know, a girl's not a, a bad girl. She's not interested in scamming anybody. But she, you know, you may be one of the first men that she's met. She likes you. But she's not sure if you're compatible because of the age difference. She's not sure what to do about that. She might be thinking, what if I don't meet anybody else? You know, what if I don't meet somebody closer to my age and I really, really want to be closer to my age? Should I consider, you know, marrying this person because I may not find somebody else, but I'm not really attracted to them? She could literally be going through that thought process. I think many women have actually been through that thought process. And what I find based on my 26 tours to Ukraine and the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of guys that I have toured with is that the guy usually ends up not doing well in that conflict, right? The guy usually ends up on the outside or you're stuck in the friend zone and you can't get beyond it or you go on six or seven or eight dates uh, and you can't get beyond that. I, I've said it before and it's true. When, when women, you know, if there's more than a 20 year age difference, if we're talking about Ukraine, if we're talking about China and the women are over 40, China is very similar to Ukraine. If the women are under 40, they're going to want closer to their age. You know, 10, 12, 15 years of age difference, they can negotiate. So what Anna's talking about is, you know, more than a 30 year age difference, I don't know. If Anna's talking about Ukraine and Russia, she probably is. But I got to tell you, I would probably very respectfully disagree with that. Because in 26 tours, which is an awful lot of tours, I've never seen anybody in their 50s marry anybody in their 20s. Never. Not even once. I mean, I know some exceptions. I'm talking about maybe two. Uh, but I, I just don't know that. I mean, I would have seen it, right? And, and I completely don't care. It's not like I don't want people to find each other and fall in love. But, you know, in China, I think the women view love and relationships the same way as the women in Ukraine. In Colombia, in the Philippines, women typically come to us at a younger age, want to get married, want to have a few children, or you're going to meet women who are in their 30s or in their 40s and they already have one or two children looking for a guy who's okay with them having one or two children. So it's kind of like that. So, you know, I just, I just think that the best approach is to meet women that are within 20 years of age difference. Look, guys, keep it real because you're going to get a much better result if you keep it real. I don't want you going to Ukraine, wasting your time six, seven dates with somebody who likes you, who's interested in hanging out with you because you're fun to hang out with, but it's never in a million years going to get romantic. I don't want you to ask a girl, I'm 30 years older than you are. Do you have a problem with my age? And she says, absolutely not. No problem with your age. But she's thinking, we're not going to get intimate. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to let you kiss me, but if you want to just hang out, buy me lunch, and buy me stuff, I have no problem with your age whatsoever. I don't want you getting stuck into that. And you will get stuck into that if you go abroad with the wrong expectations of age difference. All right, That's tough love, but I'll tell you what, boys, that's the truth. Speaking about age difference, says Sam, how do we avoid liking someone and then later finding out that they are, for example, 30 years younger? I'm not sure how to word that, but it seems that it might not be socially correct to come out and ask them. It definitely is, Sam. It definitely is. You do not want to waste your time with somebody who's too young for you, and you don't want to you know, avoid the opportunity to meet people who are age appropriate for you. So I wouldn't ask that question right away. I would ask that question, you know, three or four questions in. How old are you? I will tell you this. I know that in Ukraine, when you ask the women how old they are, they're going to roll their eyes a little bit or their face will freeze a little bit and you can tell they're thinking something. And what they're thinking is, okay, all you knuckleheads come here and want to date 19 year olds, but I think you like me. So when I tell you that I'm 33, I don't want you to walk away because I'm too old for you. I'm going to get you to talk to me for a little bit. I know they think that. And sometimes the guys are thinking, please be 33. Please be 33. I know that. Sometimes we're thinking that. How old are you? And she says, oh, I might not tell you right now. How old do you think I am? Or she might draw it out 
off her a little bit because she wants to build that rapport and draw your interest before she tells you how old she is. But don't worry about it. Ask the question. Tell your interpreter, I need that information. Don't let me spend more than five, ten minutes with somebody before I know how old they are. And if she's too young, just say, you know what? You're a stunning, beautiful girl, and someone's going to be incredibly lucky, but I'm too old for you, and I, 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 I don't want to do that. And you know what? Stick to it. Just do that. Stick to it. Be polite. The women will understand. They won't give you a hard time. Everything will be cool. Don't worry. And then go and meet the women like the ones I pointed out to you tonight who are hardly getting any looks, hardly getting noticed, and definitely want your attention and go have some good dates. Probably a good number of the same women will come. We had over 300 women at this social, right? Not nearly enough for the number of men who are there. Excuse me. Not nearly enough men for the number of women who are there. So a lot of these women are going to come right back and keep trying. And uh, wow. <laughs> Don't bark at me.